So after being in San Francisco for maybe 10-ish years, my parents decided they really wanted a quieter life. And they moved about 10 miles west of Healdsburg, way out in the Redwoods. At that point, my father really didn't work a regular type job, hardly ever. And he was in the studio anywhere from 12 to maybe 16 hours a day. He painted. He did a lot of drawings. He taught at the JC for a while. He taught watercolor and he taught landscape composition and did some more film work. In the early times that we were there, which is the very early 60s, uh, George Herms, who is a fairly well-known assemblage artist in California, was living on our property, part of the sort of beatnik -y thing. There were several families that lived on our property at various times. George Herms and my father got a, a hand letter press, a printing press, and made ephemera, what's considered ephemera, it's paperwork, little booklets, uh, some of them were just sort of a cover, you open it up and there's a pocket and in the pocket they would put photographs with poems on them. Some of them were their own poems, some were poems by other people. So those were some of the other things that uh, he was doing in the earlier years and uh, he passed away in 1988 and produced right up to the very, very end. He and my mother had become extremely interested in astronomy and my father even built his own telescope, ground the lens, I remember him grinding the lens, built a telescope, and did lots of drawings of the sunspots of our sun. And they got a number of magazines that were astronomy oriented, and they would go down with binoculars and the telescope about a mile away from our house. About a mile down the road was a big open clearing, and they would go out in the evenings and spend a few hours in that clearing looking at the night sky. They studied uh, molecular biology and astrophysics and a lot about the cosmos in general. And those things, of course, just started influ influencing his artwork even more. These are often called, well, they were called by my father, they were called decks. And I think of them sort of as being decks of clouds, but they could be decks of atmosphereness, whatever that is, it's particles. This is very much like a horizon line here. Whether this is ocean, water, land, or whether this is a being above the clouds, if any of you have ever been in an airplane <laughs> uh, and been above the clouds, it's amazing. It's like a landscape, but it's all just particles of water. It certainly isn't all water in outer space. It's dust and rocks and all kinds of other things too, gases. He ended up calling these types of paintings decks because they have horizon lines, because you're looking out at something. And there usually is, in our world, a horizon line.